everyone give a warm round of applause for a very funny guy, Nick Haddix, everybody. Clap like that. Keep it going for Joe Meyer, the performers tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, yes. How's everybody doing tonight? Good. Woo! Yeah, good. Woo! I'm on a new weight loss program. It's called uh, Clinical Depression. <laughs> I don't know if anybody else has ever been there where it's like, I really want to eat food, but I also just want to lay here and die. This is cheaper. I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to enjoy this. Oh, Lord. Oh, yeah. My life is going swimmingly. Uh, actually, my life is going pretty good. I went on vacation recently. I just got back from El Paso. Uh, I had to go through airport security, which always kind of sucks, though, because, like, I, you know... I get there, and there's some sweaty, greasy guy, and he manhandles me and asks me about my luggage and accuses me of terrorism. And then I have to go through airport security, which sucks. Uh, a lot of people are up in arms about the whole trans bathroom thing, like where people, different people want to shit in different places, and apparently we have to regulate that. I don't give a fuck. Here's the funny thing that always, like, I don't know, I just I don't get it. There's so many people are like, what if my daughter sees a penis? What if she sees one? I'm like, your daughter's gonna see, like, plenty of them. You have not taken a look at her phone lately, have you? That is a, that, that's like a weird problem we have now that we have, like, phones and shit uh, that can take pictures is apparently everyone's fascinated by their own genitalia, especially men. Uh... It's like, I have dude problems, I guess, which is like, I can't really bitch about anything. Like, I was talking to a dude, and I was talking to a lady friend of mine, and like, I was comparing their problems side by side, because the guy was like, I'm owed money. We had this oral agreement on a show, and he didn't pay me what he said he would. And then the girl's like, there's 40 dicks on my phone today, and four people are threatening to beat my ass in the parking lot where I work. I'm like, what the fuck, is this a thing? Is this the new Tinder? Jesus Christ. Uh, Tinder bumps me out. I don't know why, just the idea that you can like swipe. This one, yes, this one, no. Hmm. It's too, it's too, uh. am, I, am I the only one? I think I'm getting old. I really think I'm getting way too old. Like I hate all the songs on the radio. I listen to NPR like a curmudgeon. <laughs> just, just all crap, it's all terrible. We're stressed. We're stressed out. Because we used to play pretend, and now we need to make money. Who plays serious? Who ever played serious? Damn it, Billy, I hate playing IRS. I don't want to be audited. This is fucking boring. We're stressed out. Yeah, really? Do you go home to your Syrian refugee camp at night? Are you and 20,000 other people shitting in 20 chemical toilets? Do you have to hear the French equivalent of an ethnic slur? No? Oh, gee, maybe you don't get to be stressed out anymore. Shut up and dance. Shut up and dance. There's like a lot of like gay bashing and shit. Shut up and dance. That doesn't apply to you. This woman is your destiny. Do you hear that? Woman is your destiny. Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. God damn it. Apparently you guys like that song. Uh, I really fucking hate 21 Pilots, I'll end on this. Um, I hate that Tear In My Heart song even more. It's like, she had the tear in my heart, boo! I'm like, oh yeah, you're fucking original. And then there's like that breakdown in the middle of the song where he like, laments about having to avoid potholes once. <laughs> that's, that's how you know you love someone? Oh, you fucking white knight, you. <laughs> Avoided the potholes, I love you, Susan! It's over, you're creepy. Is there like a 20 minute version of that song where they go through all the shit that actual couples go through? Like there's the pothole thing, and then there's the like you got too drunk one night, and you had unprotected sex thing, and then there's a pregnancy scare, and you didn't like, and then it turns out that it's like ovarian cancer, and you have to like get a second job, and she has to quit school, and you have to take care of her, and she's just getting pale and thin and gaunt, and then one fucking day, what, you guys are laughing at cancer, what the fuck is wrong with me? One day, you go out, and like, she's like, feeling better, and you make her tomato soup that you know she's not gonna eat, she's like, go out, go be with your boys, Go hang out, you deserve it. You go out, and suddenly this girl starts hitting on you like you're the last dick on earth, and you're just, you don't cheat on her, but you're really fucking tempted, 
and you go home and you sleep on the couch and she thinks it's because you're trying to let her rest, but really it's because you're really going to rub one out in the shower at three in the morning because you can't sleep because you're thinking about this girl because it's been so fucking long since anyone ever like loved you and you feel like it's the last fucking thing on earth. And then like it's weird because she recovers and she gets a new lease on life. And she like starts fucking around on you and she cuts her hair all weird and you get into a fight and you break up. And when all of that is said and done, you see her again later and it's just weird. There's like, there's just a tear there. There's a tear in your heart. <laughs> None of that shit is in the fucking song, by the way. It's just, I avoided potholes. But I love you. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all. You guys have been to one Pilates. Everybody, keep it going.